Welcome to the West Virginia Housing Development Fund Power Lender Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to cover capabilities of the internal administrator and provide you guidance and help throughout the system. By now, you should have received your new user email, which is system generated from the Power Lender system. It will be delivered to your email. This is your username and you'll also be provided a link within that email to set up your password. You'll access the Power Lender system the same way that you accessed our previous registration and lock system via the Lending Partners page on our website using the large red button at the very top of that page labeled Power Lender. Once you click that button, you'll see this first lender login screen with email and password. You'll then enter your email and password. You will receive a confirmation authorization code email for security purposes. Here's an example on the right of your screen. Then you can enter the authorization code in this box. And if you'll notice here as well, you can also click this box on the author authorization page to allow this to keep you logged in to PowerLender for 30 days. You also notice on that PowerLender login page, you're able to reset your own password and also your users will be able to see a list of you, the internal administrators for your organization so that they can be in touch uh, with any password or system access or system permission issues. You will have the ability as internal administrators to change those items. Once you've logged in, you'll see the Power Lender launch page and login administration uh, items are he here on the left of your screen. We'll go into the system in just a moment and we'll explore that further. As you're creating new users in the system or removing new users, you have both of those options as internal administrators. It's important to remember the possible user roles and the permissions that correspond with those roles. You'll see those listed here and a description of what access each role provides in the system. During our launch, we're mainly focusing on the lender admin, lock department and loan officer roles, basically the loan registration and lock personnel. However, there will be further actions later on with this system pertaining to underwriters, closers, and post-closing personnel. And you can assign multiple roles to one individual as needed. Please encourage your internal staff to contact the lock desk at wvhdf.com email address if they're having specific issues with registering and locking a loan, making any changes to a loan or canceling a loan. This is a shared email here at the fund for lock desk issues, or they may also contact Trisha Poe direct. If you have any internal administrator questions or need assistance, or if you're having general power lender technical issues, you may contact me, Justin Hilbert, at the email or phone number below. Let's pop into the system. You can see here the lender login page. Your users will be able to review a list of administrators to contact you direct if they don't know who you are already. We're going to sign in. You'll see here I mentioned the login administration section. As internal administrators, you will see this and you will see this uh, only as internal administrators. You're able to change your own password. You're able to view other lender administrators within your organization 
as I mentioned, you're able to add a new user. This is very simple. Your lender name should populate here at the top of your screen, and then you're going to input your user info as listed as much as possible, please, uh, especially for loan officers, uh, lock desk personnel, loan processors with NMLS registration information. Please make sure that their NMLS number is included uh, as well, well as their full name and their address. You can see the lender code will self-populate, uh, but this is fairly straightforward information for your user. And importantly, you'll find here the roles that you can choose. And again, you can choose more than one for one individual, but remember those permissions uh, and choose those carefully to allow access to pertinent personnel only in the system that you're choosing. Again, you'll have the option to choose lender admin, lock department, loan officer, underwriter, closer, or post-closing. Once your role is chosen, as well as your user information input for your new user, you will simply hit the Create User button. That will prompt the PowerLender system to generate an email to that new user using their email address, and they will follow the prompts that you did when you initially signed into the system. We just added a new user. You can manage users that are already in the system. Let's select myself for an example. Uh, you'll see here just very basic informa information here for me internally. However, you're able to update this particular user. You're also able to remove or disable the particular user using the Manage Users tab. Back to the home page here on launch, I will say this is a link uh, to our Lending Partners website, but this is also a place where you can search for locks for your organization with West Virginia Housing by social security number. Um, this is how you will enter your loan reservations. You can, use, you can view your loan pipelines here. And later on in the system, in the system um, see any other status updates that might be available. Fairly straightforward. We hope you enjoy the system. And again, if you have any questions, you may contact uh, myself, Justin Hilbert, or again, uh, always encourage your staff members to email the lock desk at wvhdf.com email address if they're having specific loan registration lock issues. Otherwise, if they are needing assistance with password help system access or system permissions, uh, please be prepared. Your users will be contacting you as you have the permissions to change that information. Thank you for watching.